So today's lesson is on unit rates. Well, what is a unit rate? So while well, unit rate is a rate uh, where your second term is always 1. So for example, um, if I have $100, if I'm making $100 in 5 hours, that is not a unit rate. It's a rate, but it's not a unit rate because I'm not finding out the rate per hour. Okay, so because this 5 here is not a 1, the second part of it, the second term, is not 1, it's not a unit rate. Okay, I've written this as a unit rate in the second case. It's an equivalent rate, but it's not a, it's a unit rate uh, of, you know, $20 per hour. So notice right here, that's $20 per one hour. So why is it a unit rate? It's a unit rate because I'm talking about the rate per one of the second term. All right, so one way to think about this is in the proportion, and uh, but I'm going to show you an even easier way to think about this. So well, where did I get this from? Well, I said $100 in five hours. Well, what does that really mean, you know, uh, that I'm earning? for only one hour. So to get this into a unit rate, I need to make sure that I'm talking about one per one hour, per one, uh, you know, per, per whatever, but the denominator here needs to be one. All right, so now let's look at this. I'm taking x and I'm dividing it by one. Well, when I divide anything by one, I get that same number. So for instance, if I take 2 and divide it by 1, I end up with 2. If I take 500 divided by 1, I have 500. So the same holds true for x. If I divide x by 1, then I'm left with simply x. Okay. So to find out my unit rate, I'm going to simply take my first term, and I'm going to divide it by my second term. 100 divided by 5, that gives me 20. So that is where I got that $20 per hour from. All right, so uh, let's carry on with some examples to help illustrate how this can be useful. All right, so uh, example one. The question's asking us to write out the unit rate for each of the following. So in, question, in part A of this question, they're saying to me, well, I want to know the unit rate for somebody traveling 375 kilometers in four hours. So really, what I want to know is, I want to know uh, what the kilometers are per one hour or kilometers per hour. Okay. In other words, I want to know the speed. Well, I know that uh, this person has traveled 375 kilometers in four hours. Okay, and if I divide that out, that will give me my unit rate. So 375 divided by 4 gives me 93.75. And I need to remember that there are units attached to that, right? So I'm taking kilometers and dividing by hours. So I know that my unit rate is kilometers per hour. Yeah. Right, so sometimes you want to know uh, the unit rate for dosing for medication, and uh, then you have an easy conversion factor to use no matter how uh, much a person weighs. So in this case, I know that uh, a particular vaccine, uh, I need to have 0.12 milliliters of that vaccine injected for every 36 kilograms. Now that works great if you weigh exactly 36 kilograms. However, you might want to know per kilogram um, what your dosage is. So uh, let's work that out. So 0.12 divided by 36 kilograms tells me that I need 0 0.0033 milliliters per kilogram. Okay, so if I knew how many kilograms that I weighed, I would multiply that by 33 and I would know exactly what my dose needs to be. So again, it's milliliters divided by kilograms. That's how I know my unit rate is milliliter per kilogram. Now, this type of question is one that comes up pretty much every week for me when I'm doing grocery shopping and trying to save money. 
for my family. Um, I want to know, is something that's on sale necessarily a good price? So in this case, I'm asked to compare uh, different size packages and price points for granola bars. So, uh, which is the best deal? So the only way, or not the only way, but one of the best ways to, to compare, to see which is um, the best deal is to look at the unit rate, right? So um, I'm going to get the unit rate for a package of six granola bars at $1.99. So I have $1.99, but I have six granola bars, and uh, that's going to give me a value. And in the second case, I have a package of 32 granola bars at $8.99. So $8.99 for 32 granola bars. Um, so when I work each of those out by dividing it out, $1.99 divided by 6, tells me that it's going to cost me 0 0.33. So what does that mean? Well, that's 33 cents per granola bar. Per bar. Let's just call that bar. It's shorter. In the second case, I have $8.99. Uh, and I'm paying that to get 32 bars. So per bar, uh, that's going to cost me 28 cents per bar. So I know that by going for the larger size package, I know that I have the better deal. Okay, so which is the best deal? Well, it's the $8.99 for the box of 32. So at the grocery store, they actually tell you what the unit rate is, right? So uh, in this case, I'm looking at a package of brown rice. So this brown rice costs $1.89. And so the unit price per pound is a dollar eight. So if I can see a bunch of different packages of rice, I can look at what which one is the, has the best value per pound by looking at how much what the unit price is per pound. Um, and that can be very useful because sometimes sales aren't really that great of a deal. And so you may be better off buying um, the item that's not on sale because the unit price or the price per pound or per um, granola bar or per whatever is actually the better deal. Uh, so I'm just going to switch back to our sheet here. So remember there's homework on section 4.4, uh, numbers 1 to 7, for you to practice some of your skills in uh, knowing how to calculate unit rates.